Santana with the Chesapeake Public Library. And today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, friendship. In order to be a good friend, you have to be kind. And that means being kind to the people that look like you and the ones who don't look like you, or maybe don't sound like you, dress like you, or move like you. We're going to be reading three books today, The Same But Different Two, A Little Bit Brave, and Ways to Welcome. And while we're reading those books, pay attention to the different characters. Look at them and see how they look like you, or maybe how they look different from what you're used to. And then when you see people out and about on the playground or in the store, and they look a little bit different from you too, you'll already know how to be kind to those people based on the books that we've read today. Before we get started with our first book, let's get some movement going. Let's get some wiggles out. We're going to start with our hands in this song. I'm going to say it and teach it to you so that you can sing along too. And it goes like this. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, let me hear your hands go. <laughs> sounds so good, sounds so fine, let me hear you one more time. <laughs> okay, knees are next. Can you use your hands to make noise on your knees? Here we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, let me hear your knees go. Sounds so good, sounds so fine, let me hear you one more time. Good job. To get ready for our story though, we need to be nice and quiet. So let's use our mouths to get quiet. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, let me hear your mouth go. Shh, 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 Sounds so good, sounds so fine, let me hear you one more time. Shh, 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 shh. Great job. Our first book is called Ways to Welcome by Linda Ashman, and it is illustrated by Joey Chow. Published by Farrer Strauss Giroux, New York. Waves and shakes and warm hellos eye to eye and nose to nose. So look at all the people in this picture. Some of them might look just like you and some of them might look very different. Soothing words, an expert guide. Here's a friend who looks like he doesn't know what happens in this place. And here's a friend who says, follow me and I'll show you what we do here. Step by step and side by side. Cheery classroom, friendly grin, good to meet you, come on in. Helping hands, a rescued hat. Oh no, the wind stole his hat. Cups of tea and a lively chat. A work of art, a small bouquet. That is a collection of flowers. An invitation. Hey, let's play. A book filled room, a song, a rhyme. Have a seat. It's story time. That's my favorite time. A sniff, a pat. Oh look, this friend is going to adopt a new best friend, a new dog. A gentle hug, a comfy bed that's safe and snug. A homemade sign, excited cheers. A special gift and happy tears. Welcome home, welcome grandma and grandpa. A splashy bath, a starter home on a shady path. So we've got some birdhouses here, blooms to buzz, 
for the bees. Shelter from the rain and heat. Garden treasures, tart and sweet. There's a frog. What does a frog say? Ribbit. An offering, a smiling face that lights an unfamiliar place. Oh, these friends brought food to share to this new family. And this boy is inviting them to a neighborhood picnic. How sweet. A welcome can be warm, like a shawl, or cold, like an ice cream cone. Shy and quiet, or big and bold. Meant for someone new and small, or not so new and very tall. It sends a message, loud and clear. Look at all these different friends. Hello, friend. I'm glad you're here. The end. When we are ready to play with friends, it's nice to include everyone. So help me count our friends today, and we'll do a little rhyme together. One, two, three, four. Let's look at the way our friends are the same. They're all wearing clothes, right? They have on tops and they have on bottoms. They all have hair and shoes, but they also look a little bit different. Their hair is different colors their clothes are different colors, and their skin is different colors too. Let's do our rhyme with our friends. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four little friends went out one day to run and jump and laugh and play. This is the sign for play in American Sign Language. Can you do that with your hands? Good job. One little friend had to go away. Bye, friend. How many friends are left today? Let's count. One, two, three. Three little friends went out one day to run and jump and laugh and play. One little friend had to go away. Bye, friend. How many friends are left today? One, two. Two little friends went out one day to run and jump and laugh and play. One little friend had to go away. Bye, friend. How many friends are left today? Oh, no. We only have one friend left. Sometimes it's fun to play alone, and sometimes it's not. Bye, friend. See you later. We are going to read The Same But Different Two by Carl Newson, illustrated by Kate Hindley and published by Nosy Crow Books. The same, but different too. I am me, and you are you. We are the same, but different too. So we've got some fun hair on both of these friends, stripiness and matching pants. But these friends look very uniquely different. Let's see what the rest of the pictures look like in this book. I like breakfast. So do you. But I can't drink the way you do. The elephant's using its trunk to drink. I am big. You are small. I am short. You are tall. And if you have a tall friend, that friend can help you reach things that are way up high. I am happy. 
You are too. I can't climb as high as you. I am friendly. You are gruff. I am gentle. You are rough. I bet that llama friend didn't mean to be that rough. I am playful. You are too. I can't hide as well as you. Can you spy that zebra hiding there? It blends right in. I am hot. You are cold. I am young. You are old. I am hungry. You are too. I have fewer teeth than you. Look at all those teeth in that crocodile's mouth. I am above. You're below. I am fast. You are slow. I am wet. You are too. I can splash and swim like you. I am quiet. You are loud. I'm alone. You're in a crowd. I am listening. You are too. I love stories. So do you. Now I'm sleepy. You are too. Good night, me. And good night, you. Good night, friends. When you have met your best friend or a friend you really, really like, you like to play with them and you go together like a pair. So we're gonna do a rhyme about pairs of things that go really well together like you and your friends. I love you, I love you, I love you, I do. If you were a sock, I'd be your shoe. If you were the sun, I'd be your moon. If you were a bowl, I'd be your spoon. I love you, I love you, I love you the best. If you were a bird, what does the bird say? Tweet, 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 tweet. I'd be your nest. If you were a squirrel, you see the squirrel holding the acorn? Running out of room. We'll put the squirrel over here. I'd be your tree. Oh no, I dropped my tree. There it is. If you were a flower, I'd be your bee. Buzz, 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 buzz. I love you, I love you, I love you, you see. But the best pair of all is you and me. We are going to read A Little Bit Brave by Nicola Kinnear, published by Orchard Books, New York. A Little Bit Brave. Logan was a stay-at-home bunny. His friend Luna was the daring one. She had new adventures every day. They sounded quite exciting, but rather frightening too. So whenever Luna said, come out with me, it's fun. Logan said, oh no, I'll never go outside. It's far too scary. At last, Luna had had enough. You have to come out with me. No, said Logan. You're no fun, said Luna. I'm too scared, said Luna. Sometimes, Logan, you just have to be a little bit brave, shouted Luna, and she stomped out. 
Logan tried to have a normal morning. He watered his indoor plants. He dusted his shell collection. He baked some cookies. But nothing felt right. He was very upset. Luna had never been angry with him before. I have to make it up with her right away, he thought. There was just one problem. Luna was outside. Oh, look at that scared face on poor Logan. It would be an adventure, and Logan had never had one of those. He had no idea what to pack, so he took a snorkel, a flashlight, and a tin of cookies. Then he put on his favorite scarf, gathered up his courage, and tiptoed out. It was strange and noisy in the woods. There was flapping and scurrying, tweeting and rustling. I knew it would be scary, thought Logan. He took a deep breath and called, Luna! There was no reply. But lots of other animals scampered up. Luna, they said, she's the bravest bunny in the world. She dives into the river to collect shells, said an otter. She rides around the forest on my back, said a deer. She explores the deep, dark caves and goes looking for bears, said a fox. That sounds so scary, said Logan. But if you do those things too, said a mouse, perhaps you'll find her. So that's exactly what Logan did. First, he dived into the river. Splash! Brr, it was chilly. It was lucky he packed his snorkel. There was a whole new world underwater. Logan saw fish and frogs and snails. But he didn't see Luna. Then he rode off with the deer. Whoosh! My, it was fast. It was lucky he brought his scarf to help him hold on. There was a whole new world in the woods. He saw sparrows and squirrels and butterflies, but he didn't see Luna. Then he tiptoed into a cave. Eek! It was lucky he'd packed his flashlight. There was a whole new world in the dark. He saw bats and spiders and sleeping bears. Shh! But he didn't see Luna. Logan was amazed at all the things he'd done. If only I could find Luna, he said. She'd be really proud of me. He was so pleased with himself, he decided to have a cookie. But before he could open the tin, he heard a shout. Stay back, you wicked wolf! That voice sounded very familiar. In fact, it sounded just like Luna. Oh no, a huge hungry wolf was trying to eat her. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Logan hid behind a tree. Suddenly, he didn't feel brave at all. I want to go home, he whimpered. But he couldn't let Luna be eaten. So he picked up his cookies, gathered up all his courage, and ran. No! He cried. Don't eat Luna! Eat my cookies! The wolf was very surprised. Cookies, he said. Don't mind if I do and he gobbled up the whole lot. The wolf was very friendly after that. That was amazing, cried Luna. When did you become so brave? I think it started this morning, said Logan, when I was baking cookies. Luna laughed. Shall we go home and bake some more? I'd like that, said Logan. But first, we need another adventure. The end. So this book shows that sometimes you have to try new things with your friends to discover things that you might enjoy and have fun doing. And don't be so scared of the wolf. Sometimes he'll turn out to be okay if you give him cookies. It's time for a little bit of music and movement next. So hop on up for me and we're going to sing If You're Happy and You Know It together. This one involves clapping your hands swinging your arms, and patting your knees. You ready? Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Arms are next. Can you swing them out for me from side to side? Good job. If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. Find your knees. We're going to pat them next. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. One, two. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. Great job, thank you. I love when we sing and dance together.